before I start practical questions of accounting equation, I would like to explain you some terms which are very very frequently used in this chapter. Goods. This goods, you know, it's a plural word. This goods word is not from some good or bad. Goods means any item purchased for the purpose of selling at profit as a routine that will be called goods. Okay, let me explain this thing uh, with the help of this example. Suppose A starts business and his business will be to run the bookshop and he gives the name to his business classic bookshop. So what will be his business? Means buy the books at lower rate and sell them at higher rate and the difference will be his profit. For example, he buys the books for rupees 10,000 and he spends rupees 5,000 for the furniture for his shop because if he buys the books, he has to put the books in the shop. He cannot put the books on the floor. So he will need some racks or something else which I am going to call it furniture. So he has spent total 15,000 but 10,000 the books will be called goods for the business not 5,000 which has been spent for furniture because these books have been bought or purchased for the purpose of selling at higher price to make profits but this furniture of rupees 5,000 it has not been bought for the purpose of selling at higher price. So in this situation 10,000 spent for books that will be called goods and furniture will be called furniture. So books will be called goods, furniture will be called furniture. So this is the difference between goods and other items. Okay, let me explain through one more example. Suppose B starts a business and his business will be to run the furniture shop. It means as a routine he will buy the furniture at cheaper rates and then he will sell them at higher price so that he can make profits and he goes to the market and he spends rupees 10,000 for buying chairs because he wants to sell the chairs at higher price and he spends rupees 5,000 for books. I mean to say he buys the books for the shop and these books will tell him about the latest designs of furniture or chairs or tables etc. So in this way he has spent rupees 15,000 rupees at his shop. He has got the chairs of rupees 10,000 which will be called goods and he has got the furniture at his shop for rupees 5,000 that will be called books. Means in this furniture shop, for example the name of the furniture shop is classic furniture shop. So in this way the owner of the shop can say that I have got the goods of rupees 10,000 at my shop and I have got books of rupees 5,000 in my shop. He cannot call the books as goods because he has bought the books for the purpose of knowing new types of furniture or new designs of furniture. He is not going to sell the books at higher price. He will keep the books in his shop for future reference. But the chairs of rupees 10,000, he will try to sell them at rupees 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, whatever it is. I mean to say the purpose of buying chairs is to make profit. So chairs will be goods for him and books will be called books for him. However, in our previous example, books were being called as goods and furniture was being called as furniture. 